What's up, YouTubers? Here with a 2011 Mazda 3. Long story short, I'm just gonna show you how to do your own basic level diagnostics. So say you went to go do some inspection, you failed your inspection, they gave you a little red sticker, you wanna see what's going on. Or, you know, you just got into rebuilding your own car, repairing, seeing what's going on. It's also good to have one of these. They cost about $15. You could pick them up on Amazon. I think this model is probably like between 15, 20 bucks. Long story short, this gives you some peace of mind as to what's going on. You could always message me your code that you're getting and I could tell you, hey, listen, maybe you could do this, give you some of my experience onto this. But long story short, let's get into it. How do you scan it? What's going on? You take your key, right? You plug it in first thing first, put your key ignition two gives you all the lights, everything comes on, right? You wanna make sure you're, you don't have your music on, you're not ACs off, everything's unplugged. Next thing you're gonna do is take the tip of this scanner right here. As you can see, this is what's called the OBD2 port. This is gonna match this slot right in here. So as you can see, I'm gonna gently slide that in. And these modern tools, what they do is they generate power off that slot. So they that has a 12 volt that directly feeds this. And this is gonna give you a variety of things to do. Now, I'm not gonna navigate through this. I just wanted to show you where you plug in. You make sure your car is off. And this is where you could kind of read into your codes. Every tool is a little different. So you could grab your manual and learn to use your tool. In this case, like I said, I'm not gonna run through the tool. It's not what the point of the video is. It's to show you where the OBD port is. So good luck. Send me your codes. I can tell you what's going on, give you my opinion. See you on the next one. Like and subscribe.